What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as Grand Columbia. And in the last episode, wow, well, we effectively knocked out the United States. And we are looking forward, I think, to a said period of peace. Peace and quiet and a bit of time to solidify my hold um, on the continent. We will probably be looking at war with France in future. Um, but... The Iroquois, they are allied with Britain, Protectorates, Portugal, and Huron. I mean, Britain's not a bad target either. Good amount of northwestern territories, good amount of islands. And we, ooh, we do have an army down here in Trinidad and Tobago, ready to rock and roll. They could jump on Antigua, we could block off their ports. That's not a bad option, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a few turns. Just rebuild what I've got. And then make a decision then. Oh, interesting. They didn't get any sounds there. Oh, Mariana Victoria the first. No, because I have to give up territory and I see no benefit for an alliance with Spain at this current moment. <clears throat> Yeah, if Britain does decide to come at us, we need to... Well, if we decide to declare war on Britain, we need to be aware of that. Um, Spain... No, France, sorry, has to be the preferred option because they have such little firepower to actually fight against me in Europe. I mean, on the continent, it will just be lots of continent, continentally developed armies. So lots of armies with militia, garrison line, maybe some native units, but not full bore European style armies. So they are probably the most logical place to start before getting involved in a war with Britain. But it would very much depend on what the alliances look like. Attacking the Iroquois and the Huron, I mean, they're, it will bring Britain into the war, but is France allied with other nations that I don't particularly want to be at war with. That would be unfortunate. But let's not try and speculate too much because we'll see soon what the case it is. Uh, but yeah, I want to spend a bit of time upgrading my emp empire um, and building some defences around certain key areas. We have couple of key cities that I can't really afford to... I mean, that's not a bad deal at all. <laughs> Again, the AI's been coming up with some really, really good offers in this campaign. Officially good offers. But I am not interested. I am not interested in giving up territory. So, fair play to the AI in this campaign. They've done really well. First rate ship of the line. Prussia's come up with the first first rate ship of the line. But it looks like... I mean... Yeah. Hmm. It's very strange. So we got lime juice and sauerkraut, which means we can also recruit first rates once you upgrade the dry dock. We've also got advanced irrigation, moving on to seed planting drill. So let's get the naval hospital built. I want to save this port to be upgraded to a steam dry dock down the line although we can't can't do that yet because we don't yet have reformed naval administration no naval architecture advance, advances my mistake so you are probably gonna keep chipping away at the political upgrades that'll get us onto the road towards rights of man and a modern although we can't build a modern university yet until bogota actually yeah in five turns we'll be ready to rock and roll that's pretty good right twenty-six thousand port upgrades it looks like we don't actually have anywhere we can upgrade to the next level ports let's take a Grenadier and a Lion Infantry Unit. Get them shipped across Trinidad and Tobago. 
Not worried about. I was about to say, not worried about being, being efficient, but because they didn't drop the troops off, we can be efficient. Okay, construction. Okay, lose. Upgrade you to a commercial port. This is currently the biggest port in port building we can currently construct. We don't have technology for global trading companies. Let's go up to Niagara. So we can upgrade the governor's residence, build the roads. We've already done some knocking down of their current holdings. Let's get these mines upgraded. Albany. You don't need to be a military governor's barracks. We've got Boston and we've got Philadelphia. Um, of the two... Let's get some walls around Philadelphia. It's going to really slow down our development, but I think it is worth doing. We've lost a public servant. Let's check that it wasn't anyone super good. And everyone seems pretty good. So you're just plus four base, plus four base, plus six navy, but my navy guy is superb, so no. <laughs> you have no, <laughs> you provide no benefit. So if we went for France, France is allied with Sweden and the Ottomans, which isn't a massive deal, and they're also at war with most of Europe. They're at war with Austria, Savoy, Russia, Great Britain, the Barbary States, and Portugal. I think I effectively has to have to go for them because they have no recourse. So that means this army is probably going to then go for Paramaribo and Cayenne, which would be great. Probably going to take this force in Maine. Not, I was about to say not ideal, but actually it doesn't really make a huge difference. You then pick up that native musket unit, and then you will advance towards here, ready to push down into Teleco. You can't really move yet because the population still really hate us. Yeah. We're providing 20 repression. They're still only positive 7. So let's not do that yet. You're all going to be able to push on to Michigan and Upper Louisiana. But we want one army down here. Just right against New Orleans first. So let's get ready. Not bad, but I don't want to give them advanced irrigation because I don't want Quebec to develop. Oh, I've got to move my agent as well. I've got a, a, a priest in Charleston that I can move northeast. Let's get ready. I mean, Prussia's becoming quite the behemoth. What way to do things in? We still need to build our navy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we need to build multiple navies, many navies, and get to conquering the trade zones. Or at least trying to create, get our foot in the door. Sweden could be problematic as an enemy, but then there's no guarantee that they choose to back France. Russia and Austria are no longer allies. So it's this guy. Yeah, he's up 100%. Get up to Williamsburg. and Williamsburg's probably the same. Doesn't need to be. It was useful as a military governor's barracks on my way up the coast. But now we have... Now we've got Boston and Philadelphia... Not so concerned. Let's fortify Boston as well. Minus seven. Let's 
let's create a bit of a use a, a more useful garrison there we go because we do need we do need this army to contribute could go by C, but I'm I'm happy to take things a little bit slow, so we can still get our upgrades done. Upgrade the great arsenal. Three thousand three hundred. Let's add another second rate. So we're getting getting it quite. In decent fleet here. I might want to push my force out to here. Well, actually, that's okay. Okay. So we're deploying trade and alliance. What if I just get rid of the alliance? What if it's trade? I'll still give you lime juice and sauerkraut. Because in a way, they are the possible next target for Prussia. So I kind of want Madrid to be reasonably strong to fend off. Oh, good luck, Austria. You're going to get spanked on land. I say that, they're bringing, back, they're bringing back a reasonable number of troops. That gives the Austrian fleet. France is also at war with Austria. Okay, I was for a moment I was concerned they were going to be they were going to pick up an army, but it looks like they they're just continuing the economic war against Britain. The Dutch are still rebelling, preventing Prussia from pushing forward their troops. The Knights of St. John are pushing out of their little enclave. At some point, Marathas has got to be a war with India, but it looks like the Marathans are... Well, they are just 100% the conquerors of India. Ceylon is viable, but it's not a priority. Got to get ready to square up with these guys. I'm hoping the war in Europe will keep them distracted. Distracted enough to not to uh, spin around and suddenly focus on sending army after army after us. Although it would be an interesting starting point for a conquest of Europe. If we could take France, not be at war with anyone else, until we have to fight Britain, then we just uh, <laughs> conquer Copenhagen and then see conquer Cop Copenhagen and Stockholm and then see where we go from there. They are still at war with Russia, which is good. Works on strike in Pennsylvania. They've chilled out already. Let's you men get ready. I mean, we'll call in Mexico against France. They might go after Santa Fe. Upgrade, that's a top upgrade. Upgrade the building, upgrade the farm. We don't really need the boarding house, but let's get it done. Let's upgrade. He's doing it again. This, this game has just got much more unstable as time has passed. Okay, good. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. New York. Get a sloop. Yorktown. San Damaso. You can be... That will be an admiral. 
Can you leave Niagara? You can get towards the border. We effectively need to recruit an extra army. Actually, let's make you recruit howitzers if Boston can get artillery pieces. Let's get another native bow unit. We we'll start to combine, recruit another army from here, ready to attack the Iroquois Confederacy if they want to go for it. Other than that, things are looking pretty good. Next turn, I think you'll be ready to jump on Michigan. You'll be ready to push in towards Teleco. You're kind of in the right spot to do stuff. Okay, good. Two more turns till we get Separation of powers. I think it's going to be national debt to reduce upkeep across the board. Eh, same answer, no. I think regardless of what happens, we need to keep generating more armies. Because we are... Right now, the bulk of my forces are going to be heading inland. But I'm going to want additional forces ready to respond to any landings along the coast. That's part of the reason why I've got those built, those um, fortifications being built. So I can defend my territories. That's probably what a good force of my good amount of my militia force will be dedicated towards as we recruit more infantry. Hmm. Pressure's shuffling around, but no major problems there. Looks like everyone else is generally behaving. Looks like Russia may have a bit of a Sweden problem, but it depends on how depleted their armies are. How depleted Sweden's armies are. If they're in fairly good strength, they might be able to push on towards the Russian capital. Looks like they're going to... They might be going to try and steal Russian tech. Or they might be taking the long way around to get to Copenhagen. Okay. So you are ready. You are almost ready. You are ready. We're not trading with them, so that's good. We're, we're trading... Well, we are going to lose trade with Sweden and the Ottoman Empire. Let's call in our allies. Who would? France and Sweden lost their alliance. Ah, they, they've been abandoned by their friends. We are still... We are still trading with Sweden and the Ottomans. And we're getting a good amount of cash from them. Excellent. Let's see you... Mr. Mosquera, march on Detroit. Although, that's just gonna Irme chomp. Okay, build the farms, upgrade the roads. Get building, we can afford to leave. <laughs> basically want to see what these guys do. Do they head east and try and push across here? Or do they go west? Either way, you're going to push in and give them a, an immediate problem to deal with. And you're just going to storm towards New Orleans. Are 
but you guys have to stay in Philadelphia for now. So you're going to bring your troops. You can leave across to Philadelphia. I think it's everybody except the guns can actually make it. Let's recruit a Native American... Let's recruit an Ameri a general of an American infantry mercenary unit. Guillermo Jimenez. 34, confident general, soldier from birth, and a happy drinker. Nice. Two howitzers, two foot artillery pieces, and then that's you actually full up. You, on the other hand... Well, first of all... You push out. The port is not occupied. Oh my good god. Demand the surrender of the region. Prepare the government building. That's where their troops are. Their troops are in Cayenne. Advance towards them. Okay, I'm going to temporarily use this squadron of ships to occupy the port. It's San Jose de Orona. Actually, you're going to break Barbados's port. You're going to break Cinemary, just to make sure they didn't recruit any ships. You can't get back home, but you can get to here. Let's get that repaired. Let's get upgrades going on our new holding, including roads. Let's not break the port because they're currently upgrading it. They'll be u it will be useful when we take the territory. It will be beneficial for us to have let them do that. Next turn we can damage it, but let's not worry about destroying it right now. We've still got 8,000. Let's recruit two second-rate ships of the line. Let's really add some beef. Actually, you might be a viable target. A third and a second. I mean, fundamentally, our navy is in tip-top condition. So let's go get them. Let's recruit a... Colonial Militia is still the cheapest. We'll recruit a Colonial Militia to hold Yorktown. Let's go get... Let's steal... Okay, just because I am concerned, because I suck at naval battles. Let's get one more fourth rate. Just to make sure. I mean, I know they're heavily damaged, but don't want to take any risks. I want to try and knock out this fleet in one fell swoop. Capture everything fourth rate and above. Everything else can be. Well, to be honest, it might all still be, all still be claimed. We will need additional ships to garrison our uh, our ports, and anyone else will actually. Uh, Anyone else will actually become part of trade fleets. Okay, let's gather the fleet. A bit unfortunate with the weather gauge, because they're going to have... They're going to be able to decide the engagement. Yeah, third rates lost half, more than half their guns. Fifth rates got nearly a quarter. Second rates, just a bit more than half their guns. I mean, I know I was very much overly worrying um, about their capabilities, but I, I am not at all confident about my naval prowess. Privateers knackered. Fifth rates in good shape, so is that one. But the heavy hitters, uh, they're going to be out of action. Admiral's flagship third rate. Is he up in the... No, he's not. Just a regular marksman.
Let's just sail across to cut them off. They may actually want to go more that way. So we don't go too slowly. I mean, we are a second rate ship of the line, so we are going to go slower. But we don't want to go too slow. Maybe more like that. Fire as she bears. You've not got all your sails. Now you're doing what the AI sometimes chooses to do. They'll just kind of heave to just at the last minute and it seems a bit bizarre. That's why we are going to have to sail against the wind. Just at the edge of the engagement range. Terrible is going to be within range. Imminently. got to go for it it's gonna take for ages it's gonna take uh, forever and ages for ages it's gonna take an awfully long time try and get some of our fourth rates to try and cut them off It's a bit, bit dumb, but whatever. We will get there eventually. The enemy fleet is going to leave. It's going to cease to be within range. until these fourths get into position. There we go, you're gonna you are gonna slowly be in position. Not that the adding extra sails is gonna uh, make any difference. That's not going to work. Yeah, it might work, but... Let's try and loop you back around. It looks like... They're starting to push against us again, so everybody flip back around. Give you guys independent orders, otherwise it's going to take forever. You guys, your own orders. Picking on poor defenseless four three ships of the line. I'll try to get a little bit closer. Are 
these ships actually try sail more directly into the mix. You're dropping shots into Gehrun de Burg. You're just going to have to push, it, push into them. You can't sit here at the back too long. One hour again, hey. Full sail. That's right, pummel him. You're going to slowly get into a position to engage this fifth rate, which isn't ideal, but still at least bogging them down. in progress. Keep pummeling. The second rate is going to make good progress. Ooh, you might just clip the back of your own ship there, me hearty. See if you can nobble third rate ship of the line. It's the Admiral out there. Took down his main mast. No, mizzen mast. Now they've committed, they can try and pierce our line. The third rate's going to be a bit upset in the fact the fact that I've leaving them to uh, brook by a chain rather than round shot. You're going to play a round shot into active. Just out of range for chain shot, play a round shot into Patriot. Just about to fire some shot. Don't have to sail right into the belly of the beast. Excellent. You 
these two ships need to speed up. Galactic has surrendered. Fire a brought a chain, see if you can knock out another mast. Sadly not. <laughs> to try blast with chain so want to see if you can knock out one of the masts Engage the sloop. My hands are running. Sloop surrendered. One of my ships is going down. Cease fire, put out that fire. Oh, knock out a mast. Scooby. You don't want to fire because there's a ship in the way. But if I broadside you manually, you'll fire up over the ship. Hit the masts. bunch of my ships back over. You're doing a superb job, but you're just a bit vulnerable. being chased down. Okay, surrendered. Pivot. Come on, Arrogante. Put a broad sort of chain into the masts.
got a load of guns that haven't fired, although I suppose you have just slipped out of range. You've got chase guns. So if you both try fire chain shot, you can slowly poke holes in the mast, in the rigging, the sails. The things that make the ship go fast. There we go, Hercule. Has surrendered. Everyone has surrendered. Everybody. Everybody gets to go after this ship. Although how fast they'll be, I don't really, I'm not really sure. Speed! So the main focus is knocking down one of our masts. Holes in the sails will do well as well. But knocking down a, a mask would be superb. Excellent. Now she can't outrun us. Just let these ships engage as they please. Got a lot of firepower heading their way. Look how slow she is. Keep firing. Keep firing chain. Just knock it all down. caught in our trap. I'm happy to let some of the other ships come in with round shot and pummel the hull, but uh, these guys, let's just keep keep knocking her down. Uh, limited fratricide here. 25 guns ready to fire. Good hits. There goes the mizzen. Yes, you should be concerned. Routing. We will continue until you surrender. Nice. <laughs> good, good, good. Bring the ships into our fleet. Don't want the fifth, want the third, want the second, want the fourth, want the fourth, want the fourth. Ah, you know what? Just bring them all in. We're trying to grow our navy after all. Back to San Juan. You likely cannot bear your entirety. Into port of pay. Actually, one of these sloops can come into Trinidad and allow you to go. You can lead one of the smaller squadrons, even though it's depleted. I don't really mind. Excellent. 91. Can't be doing anything here. You can't be doing anything. Okay. Let's sit in turn, see how the French respond. Again, another great offer. But no. I mean, I, I've got a feeling if we don't give it to them, they're just going to take it. But 
They know what they want. What they want is Trinidad, and now we've left it ungarrisoned, they're going to go for it. They are welcome to, but it will be a... France demands... You're that's rich. You're demanding Florida for peace. Pongan rumbo a casa. That's right. Panic. You're going to raid your way towards Florida, but we're going to push you out. Drive you west. Capture your cities. Destroy your troops. Take you... Take your entire empire into the fold of Grand Colombia. That is promising. I'm going to I'm going to take that just because they are so powerful and because Spain is about to try and likely declare war on me. And it would be <coughs> just a second. It would be enticing for the Prussians to be at war with Spain. So I'm going, because they've only got Madrid to take. So I'm going to accept the alliance, especially as they're paying for it. Then when Sweden comes after me, I'll then at least have some superpower backing in their home territory for when they try it. Who knows? This might be what they need, what Spain needs to... Uh, to decide that attacking me is a bad idea. But it remains to be seen if that is their objective. They may well decide they don't care. Or maybe they're already at war with Prussia and Prussia's not really doing anything. So. Firstly... You ships fully repair. You ships fully repair. We have got separation of powers. So now you're going to go on with... Are oh, they all the same? Rights of man's fine. Plus 12% tech research rate is good. So. They're going to do some raiding. Okay, let's create another general, Ciro Moreno. Your job is to catch raiders. Something like that. Two turns, they'll all be done. Mixture of light, uh, regular infantry, mercenaries, native troops, skirmishers. No cavalry. Maybe one unit of melee infantry plus a unit of light dragoons. Excellent, because you're in good shape. You're going to want to hold just to see what the Spanish do. We might want to recruit a couple of units of militia just to garrison Boston. The Barbary States have been destroyed, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh, the crafty dogs. So now that army's teleported up to Martinique. Swine. So let's take our... Our fourth rate can take the army. Build up some militia to act as a bit of a garrison. You're going to land off Martinique. What did they get for it? Because they didn't give... Brit Britain didn't give them any of their territories, so it wasn't a swap. Hmm... Must have been money in a peace deal, maybe.
It must have been for peace. Ah, that's unfortunate. So got those raiders, but I'm not worried about them. You're going to push on to Upper Louisiana. Actually, you can deal with the raiders. Just, just chew them up. You men get ready to push down to Teleco. You men go after the, the troops, the raiders and St. Mark's. Yeah, we've, not, we've not got long to go. We haven't had a proper battle yet in this episode. Let's, let's attack these raiders. Push them west towards New Orleans. We'll make them pay. Trashing our industry. The dogs. But once you take New Orleans, they have no... The, the French have no access to the sea from their continental holdings. Deploy the howitzers behind the middle of the line. Deploy my foot artillery on this terrain on the right flank. We're going to blitz up. Five line as a bit of an assault company. We're going to have two formations on either flank to push up wherever appropriate. Mass my cavalry on the left. General in the centre, light horse to push up with the main line. Push up aggressively. Light horse, advance to the high ground here. Advance, cavalry advance. They have artillery, but uh, positioned in the town is a bit dodgy because it means they haven't got very good fields of fire. Frontiersmen are potentially vulnerable from that from that infantry. Let's get my from that cavalry rather. Get my howitzers to drop shells on top of the colonial light. Unlimber the horse artillery up on top of the hill. Okay. You men focus on the bowmen. The muskimen auxiliary I'm not worried about. Maximize or push up our the bulk of our infantry. On the right flank, surround and destroy. Push my cavalry into the rear. There's my tearsman. Oh, it's still dropping shells on the knight's light horse. Light artillery bombard the line infantry. Put artillery engage these other formations. Sweep the cavalry in, but by the looks of things, they are not long for this world. Mercenaries are routing. Coeur de Bois. Oh, they're wavering. They're broken as well. My god.
Commit to the general. All mercenary stop firing. Go for the colonial line. Ooh, artillery. Engage the colonial. Engage the cavalry to the right of the rear. Okay, let's just continue to speed up time, because if anyone's if my cavalry feels like engaging, they are welcome to. She might just send send you after them explicitly. Keep engaging the colonial line because we do want to chase them down because these are raiders. There you go, artillery cease fire. kill them? Maybe? No, they're going to get away for darn sure. Everyone focus on this unit of colonial line, then go after whoever that is back here. Our mercenaries, they are going to escape, but they've been quite heavily beaten. I, I would shy away from calling it a heroic victory. It was a main army against a depleted small force. We lost 76 men. Excellent. So then we can destroy them. Although we've got no sound. Excellent. Repair, repair, repair. Maybe send the cavalry unit forward to engage them so it brings in our other army. The rest of our troops in his reinforcements. Excellent. You men replenish and march on Lower Louisiana. Looks like they're in a mighty amount of trouble. Let's also... We've got our militia. Upgrade the governor's residence. 2,700. Actually, we're going to get a an able hospital done next turn anyway. Although, let's probably take... Fifth, fourth, fourth, fourth. Take all the fourths over to Porto Pay. These smaller ships go to Caracas. Just so we can work out what we're going to do with you. Okay, let's not spend any money. Well, unless there's somewhere ideal to spend it, but I don't think there is. Let's sit in turn. Let's get one more in turn in before we end the episode. Ooh, Mexico. They're going to invade someone. Are they going to invade the Windward Islands with me? Please? Oh, that would be so fun. Because they've got a lot of troops, so it would be a fun battle. Oh, I don't want to ally with Britain as well. Because then Spain will really be unhappy because Spain won't know where to go. Yes. Because allying with Britain may mean we can go after the pirate territory in Rupert's land, but also it might mean we can actually focus on trying to do something in Europe or in India sooner. I am defending against a large French assault. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of the French. Cheers, everyone.